We have been given a heartbeat to remind us that there is a beat. We've been given the rhythm of our breath to remind us there is a rhythm. There is a pattern that is manifest when love moves through the into the field and creates life, moves through the patterns of truth so that life reflects the patterns of love. Love is all there is, love is the answer. That might sound like a cliche, but it is only a cliche to the level that someone has not allowed it to be their experience, to, to know that there is um, something trustworthy that is birthing something right now. When, as a human being, when you're paying attention to that steady beat that is hitting your drum head, there is magic and wildness and creativity waiting to happen that will birth something. And if we're paying attention to what's happened in the past and not allowing that to be part of the morphic field that we're moving through, we're actually worshiping something else. It doesn't mean those things aren't present. It doesn't mean we don't have a history of things that are present in our heart that the current gets to move through. I mean, I am who I am today because of where I've been and I'm looking forward to where I'm going, but it has to be because I'm paying attention to not only the drum stick, but the drum head and what's coming through. That which is, that love which is moving through me on the drum head of who I am. And one of the advantages of being physically alive is I am a living drum head to allow something to move into the world of magic, of music, of symphony. There is, what am I, there is the question of what am I paying attention to? Am I seeing the, um, the rhythm of love is all there is? Love is the answer. I am the light of the world. I bring the current of love into the world. In the midst of the bizarreness of the reality of the current state of the, the planet and the world, who is standing strong in that truth? Because there could be another whole war about trying to fight against the injustices and the distortions. It never resolves into victory for the truth. It just makes things a little more comfortable or the where the mo most resources um, prevail. This is a vibrational experience. This is a vibrational responsibility. Pay attention to the beat of your heart so that you can touch in and see, and you can repent. And repenting is a lot of fun when it means you're looking forward into the clarity of what love would have you birth right now. We steward what's in front of us. The field in front of us is our palette is our the place where we get to paint the place we get to sing um, i'm i'm glad we get to do that together <laughs>